Uh, no, we're playing, uh, I believe it was number 10 at the time, at Jacaranda, and there's a canal, and there's homes on the, to the left of the canal, and I hit a five-wood approach into that hole. Little Brook was probably about, oh, 16 or 17, and he powered one right through this guy's screen in pool. A couple of holes later, the marshal asked us if we'd hit a ball over there. Here comes this guy, he was madder and all, get out, and... You know, want you to pay for that. Well, you know, hey, assumed risk. You live on a yeah. golf course. Golf balls are going to come into your yard. It got down to, I'll have my attorney call your attorney. Uh, so ultimately, we, the uh, course personnel told us never to come back there again. Well, we've gone back to Jacaranda and we're still looking for that old guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that it's ever been firmly established that I was the one to hit that ball to start out with. <laughs> I think it's definitely more skill than luck. I think probably 75, 80% skill. I mean, it's liar's dice. You don't have to have a good hand to play well. You could, I think if you have a good cadence and you can make believable lies, then you don't need to have a good hand. You can just pass it along. Well, the way I would answer that, I think a good player can win with bad dice. Mm. I think a bad player will never win with good dice. Wow. Alright, one, two, three, four. So I, I might be in trouble seeing what between you two guys. Mm. No, I'm based on how I played last game. Yeah, he's not a problem over there. I don't know, There's man. nothing to worry about. And Edwards in between two Wilsons? He's a goal. He's not a dice I'm telling you. I man. lost my dice touch. Chris, it's either one or the other, good at golf or good at dice. Although Rufus claims he's in a slump, few have forgotten Cousin Cab's notorious crab cake game in the 2020 championship game. I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I mean, I don't know how you can forget it. All the blood went to his stomach or something. There is not a lot of di room for dice in the mind. Cav loaded up on crab cakes and paid the price. Uh, I think I might have been sitting next to him or just nearby him that game, but something fell off with Cav. I mean, I think he put down like 10 crab cakes that night. His mind was on something else. <laughs> If the stats team is correct, he lost five of the first six dice of that game. <laughs> that is, yeah. Yeah. Crab kicks will do that. I mean, like ten twos? As game three kicks off, Rufus, still unable to find his touch, loses the first dice of the game. I would say it's 90% physical. Uh, and about 30 or 7% mental. <laughs> Well, the, the zone starts with um, uh, 250 push-ups, and uh, that's just to get the blood pumping. And then really the night before, it's all about uh, no eating after 7 p.m., uh, so I'm hungry going into the day. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so they're all thinking, I get it. Wow. That's, I don't know what I'm doing. That's a brilliant strategy. It is. Man. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Just, just all just, all just, how many dice are there? Sixteen, so I'm gonna say five sixes. Like the way you said that was a question. So is that a Canadian style? Yeah. Uh, call? Mm -hmm. Soon after the laughter, the game got serious. Down to just Rob versus Coco. Every Sunday afternoon when I watch NASCAR, I shouldn't be strapped up in one of those cars. <laughs> no question about it. Rob, Rob is a wild card. I've been playing dice with a lot of a lot of the normal participants for a longer time, so you kind of know how they're going to play. You can kind of predict them better. But Rob, he's a little bit of a wild card. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and when I start thinking, I just get myself in trouble. Um, just go for it. That's kind of my motto. Mm -hmm. Just get, just buckle those chin straps and, and let it roll. 
Despite Rob's valiant effort, Coco secures his first win of the tournament. Coco wins one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. See, I, I was waiting for you to have an A. Well, what's your me right now? I want to tell you about that truck around the shot. <laughs> what did I say that wasn't the true? The fairway was 150 yards wide. You had a canal that was 50 yards wide. It was you not had a 50 yards wide. That was 40 yards wide. The canal was wide. about 20 feet. And he goes wide. into the screen over there. I mean, you talk about. It was a hook. It'd be like if I'm aiming at that and I hit it three houses down across the street that way. One of the worst shots I've ever seen. <laughs> Soon enough, game four was off and running. Who scares you the most in the uh, KC Chaos competition wise? Myself. <laughs> I'm afraid of my own capacity. But uh, the truth is, no one really knows what's going to happen. You know, it comes down to the whim of these, these dice. You roll them like a madman, or you just get stumped. There's a lot more about reading other people and, you know, obviously being able to calculate odds, but uh, there's a lot more skill to it than people think. All right, so I guess the textbook answer would be 50-50, right? Which I think there's, I think as you play this long enough, I think the book would tell us it'd be more of a 70-30 skill to, to roll kind of thing. The more I play it, I think there's, there's, there's definitely a little more skill to it than I'd like to believe. <laughs> I'd say it's probably two-thirds skill and one-third luck, maybe. I mean, there is some luck involved, but there's definitely some skill, too. you got to play the people, not the hand or the cards or the dice that you're dealt. You're playing the people. Max, I know exactly what you have under your cup every time. It's just it's weird. I'm kidding, of course. Meanwhile, Rufus gets some of his rhythm back, placing third in the game. Which leaves it down to Wheel Henry and that mysterious Coco. I mean, I've been I've been uh, talking with ESPN uh, the whole summer on uh, trying to get these games uh, at least on ESPN Plus. Um, maybe the championship game on ESPN Two. That championship game last year, even though I didn't win, um, we had a nice crowd around the table. The championship game was at night because that particular hut had lighting. I gotta tell you, it felt like the Super Bowl. Uh, it was a super cool game. You've got breeze coming in off of the beach. You've got a nice crowd inside the hut. You've got lighting. It, that that felt good. Another win was in sight for Coco. That is until Will Henry had something to say about. With another savvy pull, Will Henry beats out Coco for a victory in game four. <laughs> How does being the youngest player in the tournament make you approach each game? I'm driven by it. I do, I do want to do well. Um, just to prove that I can uh, play with the older kids, you know. Will Henry scares me the most. Um, I, I have no clue how to play um, next to Will Henry, uh, and that's, that's the truth. Is a dice cup half empty or half full? That's a great question. I mean, I think it always has to be half full. Except when you're out of the game and it is, uh, it's empty there. And I've seen a lot of empty dice cups over the, over the years, as that uh, 11th out of 11 ranking will tell you, but... Then it crawled into the creek, and that's when I seen you washing in the stream. Oh, honey, let me call you, baby. Baby, let me call you, honey. Honey, baby, baby, honey, I don't know what else to call you.